So let us propose the mechanism for this reaction. You see what are the changes that is taking place. And if you can identify the changes then it's easy because after that you have just uh, think in the direction of changes. Otherwise you, are, you does not know what is the direction of thinking. So first see the changes that will give you the direction of thinking. You see this side you have a three member ring. So you have a three member ring but this side you have a four member ring. So it looks like there is a case of ring expansion. Three member ring has been converted into four member ring. So basically this is a case of ring expansion. So it looks like uh, this is a case of ring expansion. Are you getting or not? So this let me write. So this is a case of ring expansion. So easy. Now what is the next important thing you have? You see this side there is no change. So you have double bond, you have methyl, methyl, double bond, methyl, methyl. So this side no change. And finally you have a C double bond O. So it looks like you have to have some carbocation kind of thing. So it looks like there is a carbocation as intermediate because the medium is acidic. And if the carbocation is intermediate and this double bond is not attacking because it remains as it is. So I have only one option. This oxygen can act as a nucleophile. Oxygen gives nucleophile then this triple bond breaks. So now I have, I can say oxygen acting as a nucleophile. So oxygen is basically a nucleophile in this case. Now if I try to see these things and apply some ideas. So let us see what will happen. So you have a six member ring here. This is the initial compound. You have a six member ring, and then you have a triple bond, three, three member ring. And then again, you have four lone pair, you also have. And then here you have double bond. So, this is the original compound you have. Now, if you give H, plus, so this takes H, plus, so you will have a six member ring and then here you have a cyclopropane ring so this is a cyclopropane ring you will have and then you have O H plus and then here you have double bond now I have two options. I can break. So basically I have to break from this side or I can break from this side. Are you getting or not? So if I break from this side, I will have carbocation here. That is basically a lilac carbocation. Resonance is stabilized. But if I break from this side, this carbocation is not stabilized. You say it's a basically 3 degree carbocation. But this is very ring a strand carbocation. So in this case you will have a lilac carbocation. So that is a good option. So you have a a lilac carbocation there. So if you follow that, what you will have? You will have something like this. You will have a six member ring. And then you have this. And they are basically have broken this one. So you will have OH. And there is a plus charge. Double bond. You will have methyl methyl. Now what can you do in the next? So this is a lone, so this is a positive charge, carbocation. If you do something one to shift, so if you shift this bond here, are you getting enough? So if you shift this bond here, what you will have? If you shift this here, you will have, here you have a cyclohexane ring. And then this side you have a four member ring. You see one carbon, two carbon, so this carbon is connected. This carbon is connected, this carbon, this carbon. So we have four member ring. So here you will have a four member ring. Are you getting or not? And now this is, let us call this a carbon number one, this is two, and you can call this is a three, and this is four. So you can say this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. And carbon number one, what you have, you have this group. So let us say carbon number one contains this group. 
So this is your carbon number one. What about carbon number two? This contains OH group. So carbon number two contains OH group. And carbon number two also contains positive charge. You see, carbon number two has a loss. One one has broken. So this also contains a plus charge. So carbon number two also contains plus charge. And if you can write resonating structure of the same molecule. So if you give this lone pair here, so you can write resonating structure. And in the next step, you can lose H plus. Are you getting or not? So if you write resonating structures, it will be something like this. So you have a four-membered ring here, and then here you have a double bond O H plus charge on oxygen, and here you have this. Are you getting? And the next step, we we'll lose H plus. That is the easy part. So if you lose H plus, what you will have? You will have something like this. So you will have this. And there is a double bond. If you see the last step, so this step is very clear too. Re related to pina coal pina coal on rearrangement. What you have in the pina coal pina coal on rearrangement? You have one two diol. This is one two diol kind of thing. You have a carbocation here, and then you are migrating something. So this is very similar, and then you have, this is resonance stabilized by lone pair of oxygen, and that's make the carbocation. So if I make the carbocation here, and that's why this is the migration two driving force. One driving force is a release of ring a strain. Another driving force is the stabilized carbocation due to the oxygen plus charge. So two driving force we have. First driving force that is ring expansion. So ring expansion is a one driving force for this. And another driving force, the positive charge goes into the oxygen. So this resonating structure is very very stable. Are you getting or not? So I can say two a spaces. This region, these two resonating structures are very stable. So resonating structures are stable. Resonating structure are stable. So this is resonating. Resonating structures. A stable. Are you getting or not? That's why we are doing this one. 